You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, what is up? Welcome to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio. I am your host, Danny Mussolini. So we have a spe- uh, special guest for this evening. Uh, we also have a show later on tonight, so tune in again, right? <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so check it out. There are over, let's see, what's 23,000 of you guys on our phone lines? Uh, dang, just dropped something. Uh, on our phone lines, uh, for this evening, I definitely want to, definitely want to thank you guys, um, for taking the time out to tune in with us. This is not our normal broadcasting hours, but hey, the team works, make the dream work, okay? So we are in there like booty. Yeah. Maybe not that graphic, but you get the point. Okay? So you can't win them all. <laughs> it is unrealistic to expect that you'll continually achieve one victory after another. There will be disappointments along the way. Success is based on your ability um, to quickly recover from the losses and move on to the next task. If anything you attempt, there will be setbacks. Does it make sense to compound the loss by dwelling on it? Of course not. Learn from it. Yes, you can almost always learn from a, a, a loss that you can from a victory. And then put it behind you. Move forward with confidence. When someone says no to you, that's one more step on your path to success. Politely thank them and move on to the next person. When a deal falls through, Move on to the next one with increased determination. Even the highest paid professional golfers only win a few of the many tournaments that they enter. No one can win every game. Ask Michael Jordan that, but he's still the greatest. Anyone can be a winner, though, by refusing to be stopped by defeat. Ask the Saints that. We are the best team ever, right? You know, we won like a Super Bowl once out of so many losses and defeats so many years ago. It wasn't that long ago, but we did that, okay? And we're still the greatest team, all right? So take that from me, Dini Mussolini. That is my word, and word is ball. You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo, hello, and welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Music, or the book, or film, or even the business, where we dive into the minds of the people who create these marvelous things. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. Big ups to my folks who are indigos, crystalline, or the star seas. For my vigilantes audience family, for my hooligans, and shout out to my people who are vegetarian or vegans. If you're in a struggle like me, <laughs> we are averaging over 37,000 live listeners, and we've been at this for five solid years. I appreciate all you guys who've been rocking with the kid on this journey, and we are still evolving, baby. It is all because of you, most definitely. We are 
are the people who have dedicated their lives to music, spirituality, business, literature, art, films, and research in every aspect. And we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story. Man, we've had celebrities on our show from Grammy Award winning artists, uh, nominees to actors, comedians, CEOs, technology revolutionaries, visual artists, from authors to professors and vampires. Or people who think they're vampires. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Come on our show and talk to me. So check it out to book your interview or to appear on my other show called Skeptics. Email me at vradio at onlyonemediagroup.com. And that's V as in Victor. We hope to get the stories behind these unique people and give them a chance to tell their truth to us and the universe. That is Vigilante's Radio Soul Purpose. You know the number to dial 7. 701-801-9813 Share that number with your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests or you can hop in the mix directly from our website which is onlyonemediagroup.com Right from the home page you can slap that go live button and you'll be here live in the mix and in the chat room with all of us so feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here but only as time permits sometimes my guests and I talk entirely too much and as always all episodes are available for free download and you can grab them from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes player.fm youtube any app from the google player itunes store or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we've ever aired well this evening's interview is the d1 interview number two that's right he is a uh, two-time repeat uh, I don't want to say offender uh, but he's a vigilante in my book because it's, this will be his second appearance and you all know by now what a fan I am of artists being original creating fantastic music along the way and I'm pretty sure you all know that I can't get enough of it either I'm like a fiend for original and dope music so here's some more All right, we're going to share some more with you guys I'd like to reintroduce you guys to a two-time vigilante. His name is D1. And uh, we're here uh, once again at an interesting time for this guy. He has a new single called Tut that's out right now. And you can get that by clicking on any link that's in the description of this episode. It's blazing hot and it's racking up plays and gaining attention from all over the planet. And it's ready to give this, uh, this whole music thing another legitimate push forward watching his instagram feed you can automatically tell that d1 is pumped up and ready to go and he has always seemed to be pretty excited so he gotta be you know he releasing new music that's that, that's always an incredible thing and it sounds as, as if things are going more than well over in his way so he has found a purpose in this music that he makes and he have to be crazy to give it up now <laughs> and with that Let's welcome him to the show. Hey, D1, man, you're now live and mixed with all of us. How's it going? Hello, how are you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, man, how's it going? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Man, how you been, bro? It's, it's been a minute since uh, we talked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, I've been... A lot, man. I've been I've been going through a lot, man. But it, you know, the good part is that you know, uh, and I've changed for me since like the last year we spoke to each other, and um, I have a, a way better attitude. My you know my persona has been more amped up, you know, uh, since the last time we spoke. Do you think we'll get a album or project, you know, with all these new experiences? Um, album, let's see. Well, I am actually, I just got finished, I just got finished, uh, making all the beats to my, um, to my, uh, project. Mm -hmm. But, I was like, you know, why not make it an album? Because I have a lot to say. And, you know, I think this stuff has to be said. And so, I have an album. And sure, the exact date. But it should be coming out early December. Nice. 
Right. You have a title for it? Uh, no. Well, I have a rough draft of a title. I was gonna call it the unspoken one. You know. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Sounds intriguing, man. So, since the last time we spoke, I'm sensing, uh, and you kind of mentioned this, uh, a very hard work ethic, you know, with this new release. How would you describe it? My, uh, my top release? Yeah, Tut, the release of Tut. How would you, like, describe the song? Uh, fun. Uh, definitely. Yeah, uh, uh, high, high energy, high pace. But mostly fun. Um, yeah, that's the only way I can describe it because it's just a fun song, you know, to dance to, to like, you know, just let loose to. Right on. And and uh, Tut is a, a is a, a acronym. What does it stand for? Oh, it stands for Turn Up the Temperature. Okay, turn it up. Man, it definitely sounds like a fun track. Yeah, yeah, sounds yeah, like a track that I can lose my track. shirt on, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could definitely lose a few pieces of clothing. All right, all right. My kind of music, my kind of music. So, D1, how important is the music you make to you personally? Um, the, uh, well, I could say that... Um, that all my music that I make is important, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Like, no matter if I'm making fun music or entertaining music or music for the people or music, like, to any situation, um, any piece of, any piece of music I put out there is uh, important, you know? You know, I want people to have fun, too, and I also want people to be inspired, and I also want people to, like, you know, you know, relate to situations that they go through to music, the words in my music, you know? So any piece of music I put out there, it gotta be like one of the like main few things. Fun, entertaining, inspirational, motivational, and that's it. It has to be the you things, know? yes, you know? Or, or all the above. Like sometimes it's the weird moments where I get all the above mixture, you know? Mm. Definitely. Along the way, bro, on your journey, did you ever encounter like disbelief, um, especially from yourself? Mm -hmm. No, uh, I, I must definitely say there was some moments, times where I truly was like, you know, I didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, um, mm. like that year we spoke ago. Like now, like it was definitely some moments. Definitely kept getting in my ear talking about, you know, you're not going to be making it, you know, or you're not going to be able to achieve this amount of success, or it's unrealistic. It was definitely those moments where, you know, too much of that got in my ear. And, you know, when I started listening to my own music over and over again, I started overthinking it and maybe really doubt, like, you know, am I actually going to, like, make it in this music industry? Like, you know, it was moments where I was a too harsh of a critic of my own, you know? Right. And I really, like, you know, started to, like, feel like it's, you know, this was just off or nothing, you know? Yeah. But, you know, it took, it took me also, and with the help of, like, you know, like, a few certain people, but right? it took me, it took us to realize that, you know, I'm really truly capable of doing anything I set my mind to, and that I know that I'm very talented, right? Mm -hmm. And I will get very far in this music industry, in this rap game, you know, in this entertainment industry, as far as I possibly can go, because I'm the only one who puts limits on myself, not nobody else, and I see myself as a limitless person. So, oh, right on. Just, I just, from those doubts, it's okay for me to have, it's okay to have doubts, you know? You know, mm -hmm. to doubt that you know that it's not gonna fall through or it's not gonna be exceptional as the way you want to, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It just makes you want to push harder and push harder to you know be a better rapper, entertainer, to be a better writer, you know, to be a better performer. You know, all in all, so I just use, yeah, I just use that I get and just put it up and just gain my confidence level. Like, man, um. I, I really think like 
our own selves can be our our worst and biggest enemy ever and, and that's like a constant battle man that even when you're on top when you're when you have a bunch of positive people in your life sometimes it's just that thought that one thought that's always mm -hmm. kicking you in the back of the head that sometimes come to light and uh, I'm glad you had some support man to help you see that yo you you are worth it you will be somebody and, and as you look yourself in the mirror you tell yourself that as well yeah uh, man, go ahead and, and shout out those people man who were in your corner well I gotta give it thanks to my uh my play mama, you know, I have my real mama, but I, my, uh, you know, my play mama, you know, her name is uh, Louise, you know, she, she helped me, big part of this. Uh, one of my friends, Kelly, you know, my friend Dave and Catherine, the Uber driver, uh, Uber drivers on my way back home, you know, my Uber driver in LA, I don't know their name safely, but I'm pretty sure they know who they are. You know, it was just like the small people, you know, who just right. helped me, you know, helped me gain, you know, telling me that I could do it. Even when my own family was telling me that I couldn't do it, you know, it was those people who just in my life for like a small second and came up. It was that all it took for me to like, you know, move steam ahead, you know, especially my best friend, Catherine and Dave, you know. They, you know, they, one of my biggest, you know, one of my biggest supporters out there, you know? Yeah, man. I remember we had that conversation last time about, you know, the disbelief from your own family. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, so, yeah, yeah, shout out to those people. Um, you helped my man D1 see the light at the end of the tunnel. So Thank I'm you so much. Sure he, I'm pretty sure that he, uh, that... Yeah, you appreciate that. So you and I share a lot in common when it comes to like personal attitudes. And there yeah. are listeners out there in our universe that don't. So I figured I'd give you a genuine shot at convincing us all that somewhere inside of us lies the keys to a more humble version of ourselves that doesn't know it all yet and is still searching for more ways to gain knowledge, evolve, improve, and give back to the world. Because let's face it, man, I'm in the mind that the moment I stop learning and growing and seeking knowledge, I might as well be dead. Uh, yeah. Is there any magic, mystery, and wonder left for you when it comes to your perspective on the world? Or are you just running out the clock at this point and feeling like you already know the ending of the movie? Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. I can never. No one, no one can ever know how the movie is. Like, no one can ever know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. There always, there's probably never going to be any, right? Because there's always so much to know. You know, mm -hmm. the climax, you know, the resolution, the point of the, the point up to the climax, you know, you never know. It's always something new to learn. Always something new. We, got, we probably can't prepare ourselves for or can't probably. It's always a new detour. It's always a new right away or one way street or stop sign mm -hmm. or exit or do not enter sign. It's always something, you know, that we don't expect coming, but it comes anyway. Right? Mm -hmm. You can't possibly right. prepare for that. And the only way for us to know how to be better prepared than we were yesterday is to keep learning. It's to keep, it's to keep, it's to keep, you know, growing, you know? It's to keep, you know, learning new information, right? It's to keep, you know, pushing ourselves to new limits that we can't, like, you know, push ourselves to. Like, that's the only way, because, you know, no one can ever know the final answer to everything. No one can ever, no one can ever know what's what's right, what's right to do every single time, or what's wrong, or what's the difference between right and wrong, because we're always learning, you know. So, from my my perspective, is that you know, we we can we could be our greatest educators, or we could be our greatest teachers, or we could be our greatest learners. Me, I think it's always good to be a learner because the best the people who want to know more, the people who want to learn more, those are the ones, you know, who are prepared for those detours, those exercises, you know, those traffic lights stopping them, or any any other twist of turn that life throws at us, you know? We want to prepare because those who want to stay complacent and want to say, I know everything, okay. I know everything up to this point. I think I'm good. 
you know? Mm -hmm. I think I know what goes ahead of me. No, it's not how it's not how it works. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep learning. You gotta keep growing. Right? Mm -hmm. You gotta keep on, you know, okay what's what's the next what's the next phase, you know? What's the next right on. what is the next position that we got to go to? How much farther can we go up? How far can we climb up? Because the sky is not the limit. It's only just a view. There's so much more to the sky, you know? know. The stars, like the moon, you feel me? Like, we gotta... There's so much more. It's limitless, really. Like, we can go as far as we want to, okay? We only limit ourselves, you know? So, mm -hmm. like, that same thing with my music career, you know? This, if I get... If I become... If I become famous, or, you know, get all this money, or go on tours, that's not the end for me. That's not the road. That's not the end. That's not success for me. That's not the end of the well, it's, it's part of success. But it's not the whole success for me. There's, I know there's so much more that I can do. I can do so many more things. You know, this besides being a rapper, you know, I can go into acting. Right on. It, uh, writing, you know, script writing, you know, writing movies, you know, becoming a management of a management company. You know, CEO, you know, charity. Every, it's so much more that we don't know yet. You know, it's so much, it's so much that we don't know that we can't do, that we can't do, but we can stop ourselves, you know? So. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my, that's my take, you know? Sure. Man, I like your answer, bro. So oh, I'm not you, quite sure, yeah, how to how to word this next question line, but I'm gonna try to go for something. With everything that I've seen, read, and researched, heard myself, you have done a ton with music and art and explored a whole bunch of styles and sounds. I suppose yeah. one of, what I'm wondering is, with all of it being as widespread as it is, do you feel like these songs you make represent a piece of you, or or is it the entire you? Uh. I, I definitely feel like some don't understand me or probably never understand me, like really. So I feel like through my music, you know, I can be able to express some parts of me that make it hard for me to express it with words or actions, you know, through my creativity, you know. So I really feel like you know, represents a small piece of me, you know, quick. Of course, there'll be like some songs where it represents a, a good part of me, like a like a good majority of me. But for the most part, right, right. you know, just just a layer. Just imagine that it's on that's a layer, a thin layer that you're just pulling back and back and back and back. It, well, the more the more music I put out there, you know, the more the puzzle is going to come together. You know, the more each piece is going to fall to each other indirectly with each other and then it's going to be like you know like a masterpiece at this almost at this point definitely man is, is there a song in your catalog that you think represents the entire uh the entire i don't i don't know what to call it dimension of d1 like 100 percent? is there a song in your catalog that represents you 100 percent no. Which song? Not yet. Which song would you say tells your entire truth? Oh, not yet. Uh, not yet. No. Uh, not yet. Not yet. I, I said that full conversation. Like, no. No song in my channel represents my full self. Not yet. It's coming, though, right? Yes. It's definitely coming. Yeah. So you have a absolutely stunning record on your uh, with your music on SoundCloud. The number of likes and supports for your songs are pretty incredible. Uh, what do you do to personally gain that much support on your music? Marketing. That's the key, right? Marketing. <laughs> yeah, marketing. Also, I just got yep. done doing a show in Chicago, and I got done doing a show in LA like a few weeks, like two weeks ago. So like, oh, wow. Kind of, yeah. So. They kind of help me promote my music and my stuff out there. So, combination of marketing and promotion, you know. Mm -hmm. So, right. here, that's where the majority came from, really. Man, which emotion more than any other currently dominates in your music? Is it joy, sadness, anger, passion, or, or you name it? Let us know what it is. Well, the most dominant emotion... Uh, I would say happy, fun, 
happiness. Hmm. What happiness? What happiness? You know? Right. I say yeah. That's, I think that's it. If I were to put it like that. Since the last time you were on the show, uh, precisely a year ago, tell us about your adventures in between that time. Uh, have you? How have you seen your career go? Give us some highs, some lows, some heartbreaks. Yeah. Give us some triumphs. You know, give us everything that well, happened in between last time we spoke. You know. Well, it was some point in time where, uh, where uh, you know, my career it took like a, it was like a on a, a miss high, like everybody was playing it. Like my Spotify, put my Spotify fan page was like, like going, like you know, like just skyrocketing at one time. And but I wasn't like getting booked any, I wasn't doing any shows. I wasn't like you know, trying to promote myself as hard as I was. Like my other song called, like I had made a song like early in this year called uh, Better Days, which is also on my SoundCloud. You go listen to that if you want to. But that song. I put out this year, right, and it was like skyrocketed, you know. Wow. But today, it was like a tough time for me, like do music, because you know it was some points in my life where I was like filled with like you know, like you know, like hardship, you know, and um, mm-hmm. some poverty and some you know, some homelessness, you know, like it was some parts. Oh man. Like not enough food to eat, you know. And it was part time where, you know, I even know I even know where to call home, you know. Like, you know. Wow. Like, you know, it was some parts where, you know, I was sleeping on couches from back to back to back. Back, you know. And I still am, you know. But you know, it was that part on, like, you know. It was parts where I sleep on the floor and stuff like that. It was also moments where I had like, you know, lost friends and like people, some people were betraying me, you know, or, you know, let me go because I was talking nonsense about how I wanted to become like successful, you know, or like a, a, a big time artist that moved to LA, you know, and pursue my career in music, you know, so many people who had let me down, right? And from that point on, from that time that we last talked to like now, you know, I, you know, things can look better. And, but it then got what they did got back because you know I went through some more hardship, you know. Yeah, you know some more some more homelessness, you know. And um, you know I I I never thought if I had money to support myself, you know. Um, to like all my music because really all I really wanted to do was support my me and my career. Like mm-hmm. that's one of it, and I could have I couldn't even do that. So Man. like it was some time. Where we go get money from? So I just uh I just moved I just moved to uh, uh I, from that point on like things got better you know um mm-hmm. you know I still you know getting some money uh was I was able to release my uh my 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 first big hit Better Days you know that song release and got you know it did really good you know. It did really good as far as I like, get my name out there, you know. And I, but I didn't push this hard enough on better days as I should. Like I wasn't doing it. I wasn't promoting myself, you know. Like you know, I feel like I could have did better. So from that point on, for better days, I made it my mission to so, like you know make the second song bigger than the first one. So you know my school was shut down because everybody got kicked out because the school was scamming kids and you know. Oh wow. But in that return, they repaid like 25% of the money we spent in that school and they gave it back to us. So, wow. with, that, with that money, I was able to release this new song called Better, called T-U-T-T, Turn Up the Temperature. Mm-hmm. So I was able to do a show in LA. I was able to travel to LA, do a show in LA, get second place and Get booked to do another show. Get booked to do another show in LA, which is coming up this Wednesday, October fourth, and I'll be performing in LA. All the details on my Instagram. So that opened another opportunity for me. I was able to do a show in Chicago, right here. I didn't win, but I still gave to get my name out and promote 
and market if I can and market and promote my music all at the same time. Like, so I would say like so yeah, all the information. Like, you know, if you want tickets, flyers, you know, dates, times, just follow me. Like follow me on my Instagram. Follow me on my Twitter. Everyone. But mostly Instagram because I'll be on there the most. So just follow me on my Instagram at DM at DM Law Three. It should be on there. Okay. So guys, just in case you need that link, it's in the description of this episode. So all you gotta do is click the link. Make sure you follow my man and pull up, pull up to the show. Man, yeah, what's the most I got, important? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'll say I got tickets. If anyone, you know, got some tickets, just look in my bio. Nice. So D1, what's the most important thing you can do for your music during the next five years? Keep making it better, really. Um, keep making it better. Like, cause music is like a seed. You know, you got plant the seed. You know, take care of the seed and watch it grow. You know, music, music grows. You know, something that can't be just seriously like popped out sky for me. You know, yeah. So I just gotta take care of it. You know, make sure I put, make sure I put like you know. Make sure I put like my effort, my 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 hundred percent effort into my music, you know. Mm-hmm. Definitely. All right, guys. After the music break, it'll be time for our usual tradition. It is called the hot seat, and our fans love this part of the segment. And of course, along with the actual interview, but the audience get to hear uh, D1 provide us with some vocals, poetry inspirational speech spoken word freestyle rap joke stories or maybe even a live instrument from our special guests well you never know what these creative minds and vessels will produce in the spotlight and today we'll find out if d1 has what it takes to be put on the spot a test of his true artistry and maybe even some hidden talent but for right now we have d1 with his song called cut and we'll be right back west side in south side in east side North side in, west side in, south side in, east side in, west side in. Looking for the way and I smoke every day and I move every day and I get this party bumping, jumping, juicing, dancing, bumping, grunking. Everybody something, something, move it, shaking up, it's quaking. Throw some money, shake that ass, make it fast and get it back. Keep it coming, ain't no stopping. Last songs wasn't even popping. Got some mass and I don't see it. Got some ass, you better twerk it, work it, work it, work it. I'm dipping, dug in and swerving. These niggas out here be lurking. That 4 5 hole, you be busting. I just really rocking that. Why you all up on my ass? I'm just smoking all that gas, ain't tryna move that fast. Why you comment on my pick? I caught a body, caught a case, moving silent, not a race. Smoke this weed, don't need no vape. I'm the king, I'm my life. Hit it once, you made it twice. And I do this every night, don't take no else, I'm taking flights. Got the henny in my cup, and she tryna be booed up. And my niggas poured it up, let's run it up, let's run it up, let's run it up. Yeah. West side in, south side in. East side in, north side in, west side in, south side in, east side in, west side in. Turn up the temperature, turn up the temperature, turn up the temperature, turn up the temperature. Finna get lit now, finna get lit now, finna get lit now, finna get lit. Turn up the temperature, turn up the temperature, turn up the temperature, turn up the. Finna get lit now, finna get lit now, finna get lit now, finna get lit. It's getting hot in here, so hot, hot. Turn up the temperature, it's getting freaky, dicky, sweaty, nasty. Turn on the temperature, 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 turn on
Take everything. Your time, I'ma make it sing. I try my best to do my thing, but you always causing trouble. Like me, goes nigga, you in trouble. You want this smoke? Make it double. Got a hit, maybe a couple. I just wanna grind and hustle. Please don't make me go get Russell. I'm a beast. You a pussy, pulling up like a rookie, and I'm flying like an eagle. Every word I spit is lethal. Rocking polo, American eagle. I don't even shop at retail. They pray to see us fail. They pray to see us in the cell. I let's go, don't even stop. But I tap tap all the way for a walk. I was trapped inside the water. Work took a long time just to see my worth. Hotels, run through my mind. What do my mind? I got to grind and I got to shine. Go to claim what's mine. Ain't even worried about you, fuck niggas. Go run. While you sitting next to me, you did not want to be around me. I was blind, but I could see all the bushes so clearly. Then we cut the lights on, then we cut the lights off, then we turn the music up, then we turn up the temperature, turn up the temperature, turn up the temperature, turn up the finna get lit now, finna get lit now, finna get lit now, finna get turn up the temperature, turn up the temperature, turn up the temperature, turn up the finna get lit now, finna get lit now, finna get lit now, finna get it's getting hot in here so hot. West I am, South I am, East I am, North I am, South Side in. We are back. That was D1 with his song Tut. Turn up the temperature. Oh man, I was over here rocking out. You should have seen me. Shirt just about came off. Woo. What are the possibilities, guys? Don't ask what is sensible and how do we make it possible. Instead, ask what is possible and how do we make it work. That is the difference between mere survival and great accomplishment. Instead of looking at what most likely will happen, look at what could happen. Consider your possibilities. They are everywhere. In every person, every job, every circumstance, the more stress and uncertainty in a situation, the more possibilities there are. You just got to look for them. Possibilities show up the best when they're needed the most. They turn failure into success, fear into confidence, and indifference into passion. Possibilities raise the stakes. All of life is a choice. You can do anything, but you can't do everything. So it makes sense to consider all the possibilities and pursue the best one for you. Put your effort where it counts, reaching for the highest that is possible. Take that from me, Denny Mussolini. That, of course, is my word, and word is bond. But for right now, let's bring back the man of the moment. D1, you're back live with us and in our hot seat. What do you have for us? Okay, so, um, well, I don't even know. Well, his, well, I can also, well, in the, my moment in the hot seat, I decided to, like, you know, spit a verse from, you know, one of my songs, uh, the better, the better days were, because I feel like, you know, that song, you know, represents the, 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 you know, the hard times, the hardship, you know, and the, the failure that I was experiencing for that course of that year that, uh, that you ever spoke to me. So, I feel like I should give y'all like a sneak peek of, you know, what's on this song. And so that way, if y'all ever decide to go out and, uh, you know, play it, you know, you could get a taste of what's, what's ahead of you, you know? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, so here I go, okay? <clears throat> All right. Who was sneaking this and took your shot and missed it? You not no competition, begin the mission. Here's my proposition. Are you down for the cost? Man, I choose to work this hard. I became a workaholic, did not take no breaks at all. I had that mindset that you just don't play ball. Work on book, but play for a thing. Right, first when that shit back for more time. Get I hit it for more time. Cause we laugh, we lay. I said these words of good to good. The truth of what the only start to fall to take was too so high. I thought I died. I feel alive. Grew up inside these streets. They said I had no best. I told the floor so fun. The love I gave was all really worth it, and I came up a new person now. Go on, on a rampage, then go on, on a rampage. Peace. All right, all right. 
And that's on the song called What's the name of it again? Better Days And it's available guys right now On all platforms Make sure you get it Make sure you get it along with Tut Man let everybody know All your online connections Where they can connect with you at Okay So you can connect with me most Through Instagram Okay That's DMWall3 That's Instagram I'll be on Instagram the most Alright And if you want my Snapchat You know you can just DM me on Instagram or, you know, it's going to be awesome underscore Danny25 if you want to type it out. But so mostly it's going to be on my Instagram. So make sure you spam up or, you know, follow me on Instagram for everything. Yeah. All right, guys, just in case you didn't get those links, I have them in the uh, description of this episode once again. So all you have to do Let's click those links. My man, D1, I definitely appreciate your time, and I always appreciate your music, bro. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you know, I always enjoy coming on the radio station, man. Yes, sir. Man, uh, anytime you want to come on, man, just let me know. Hit up the kid, man, and we'll, we'll get something cracking. Oh, man, definitely. Man. I, I sincerely appreciate it. No doubt, man. We, ha- we actually have another show called Skeptics. And uh, this one, yeah, yeah, we, we talk to almost anybody, and it's unscripted, so there's no script involved, and we're just going off the whim. Sometimes we talk about religion, sometimes we talk about hard times, drugs, you name it, anything under the sun. It's a great talk wow. show. Uh, so, yeah, man, you're more than welcome to be our, our guest for that show. Oh, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be delighted to be a guest. That's, that sounds amazing. Definitely, definitely. All right, man. Well, keep in touch, brother. I will, bro. Thank you so much. No you have me on the show. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab that from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, any app that's on a Google Play or iTunes store, or our website and that goes from every single episode that we've ever aired if you'd like to request music or a particular guest or send something for me to play email it to the radio at only one media group.com if it's music please label it by artist and title here's my disclaimer we are genre free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone and actually you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show so deal with it <laughs> nah just kidding on behalf of myself Danny Mussolini I appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us spread the word because sharing is Airing. We stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, as well as Spricker. We always follow back. That is the number one rule. Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely great at just doing that. Avoid being too comfortable because you're messing with your potential when you do that. Peace and have a good night.
You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer the Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a seventh sign regime, Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate exclusive. 